Hi, my name is Mary Grace and I'm the Executive Director of Partnerships for Literacy and Learning. We made this short video as a way to introduce you to our organization, share our work, and discuss some of the urgent issues currently facing our schools. Our mission is to help schools get better at supporting the literacy achievement of their students so they can find success in work, school, life, and their community. Our nonprofit is a successor organization to the Vermont REITS Institute at UVM, which was founded by nationally recognized educators in Vermont to support and improve literacy and learning for all Vermonters. PLL stands on the foundation of over two decades of school improvement and literacy research in Vermont and across the country. Our board is passionate about the mission and legacy of PLL. Its members represent the fields of education, business, law, and nonprofit development. Although there are other folks out there offering professional development and literacy, PLL is unique in the breadth of the work it does, from professional conferences, graduate coursework, and one-on-one -on -one coaching to supporting the development of a district's entire literacy framework. We work on site to help schools innovate and improve their practice. This is truly the epicenter of our work. Schools and districts request our support. Then, our knowledgeable staff with expertise in coaching, school improvement, systems building, and literacy development assist the schools and districts in a variety of ways, including tailoring their approaches to local needs, providing embedded school-based professional supports, and using an evidence-based approach reflective of current research and education. Our focus is always on the whole school or district. We are building the systems necessary for powerful instruction and improvement by helping districts address and strengthen expertise, leadership, and collaboration as they use data-based decision-making approaches. We have provided this type of support to dozens of Vermont schools, districts, and administrators, and hundreds of teachers. During the current disruption to schooling, we have continued to support our partners through virtual consultations, have created over a dozen free professional development videos for all Vermont educators, and have sponsored a series of free supportive virtual workshops. We provide various options for educators to build their knowledge and expertise. Each year, we invite nationally recognized speakers to share current research in literacy and best practices at our annual summer institute and conferences throughout the year. The teachers and administrators who attend appreciate how these researchers tie the theory of instruction to their classroom practice. We also invite highly acclaimed literary authors to discuss their works and how teachers can use those works effectively with their students. We also elevate the voices of our own local experts and are fortunate enough to have many in our state. Our local experts model professional growth and bring context and understanding to the demands of what Vermont teachers are navigating. We partner with other entities to inform policy and practice. Because of our unique perspective and strong research connection, we have been asked by the Vermont Agency of Education for advice and consultation. Over the years, we have partnered with the AOE to support policy and legislation designed to ensure equity and improve outcomes across the state. For example, we developed both versions of the Vermont MTSS Field Guide. The Vermont MTSS Field Guide articulates a systemic framework for unifying general and special education to create equitable outcomes for all students. And while policy documents are critical, so is voice, and we use ours. This year alone, we testified a number of times in the Vermont legislature on critical issues in literacy instruction and support for struggling readers. And lastly, we are in the process of developing a new project, Networks for Excellence in Schools, that focuses on improving outcomes and educational experience for all students by establishing effective collaborative networks that harness the expertise and experience of diverse participants who are interested in solving the same problem. I hope that you have found this brief introduction to our work informative. If you have questions or would like more information, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for your time.